So like, oh my god, I can't wait to play New World because I can be like a druid and I can play with vine creatures and I'm, I can't wait to be, choose my class. You know that's not how New World works, right? What are you talking about? New World doesn't have classes? No, they don't. That's right, everybody. This week, we are talking about classes in New World, or the lack of classes. So if you're not aware, New World is not a class-based system. It, unlike many MMOs, does not strictly determine the path for your character progression. The game does not force you into a path. It does not force you to say, hey, take this at the beginning, and then that's what you gotta be. Instead, it allows you the freedom to try everything, and do everything if you really want to. Um, some developers said you could actually master all of it, I'm not sure how that would work, though. I'm not sure if if you use a certain weapon, because this is how it works. It's weapon-based. So you'll take a weapon, you play with that weapon, you get better with that weapon, and you unlock, I believe it was a skill tree, they said, in that kind of weapon, and you use skills to power that weapon up and get better abilities in that weapon proficiency, which sounds really awesome. So it's not just weapons. It's magic. It's, I believe, I'm not sure if armor... I know armor does determine a lot, but you don't, you're not limited by what armor you want. So if you want to be a mage wearing heavy armor, you probably could do that, which is a really cool thought. <clears throat> so you select your weapon, armor, your magic, whatever you want. The more you use it of that type of weapon and armor, the higher your skill with a certain type of equipment is. With this kind of system, you can select your own pet playstyle and select what you do and how you do it. If you take one-handed swords and advance using using it, then you can change to a two-handed weapon. You will start advancing in this weapon line, so reward, this rewards you, the player, the way you want to, for the way you want to play. That's, it's, and that's an awesome system, I think. Water. Recording's hard. Since I am not part of the alpha, most I'm going to talk about is speculatory. Let's just get it straight. But New World, you know, alpha key, could send that my way. Anytime now, just saying, since you delayed the game, I pre-ordered already. But let's talk about what we should do when we enter the world. So us as players, we need to think about either what we want to do, or if you have no idea, try everything. That's what's going to be great about this play style. Once... You go down a path, you can don't have to be stuck with that path and don't start over a whole new character, like a lot of MMOs. <clears throat> uh, one example, if you want to be right in the fight, and you know you want to be right in the fight, you want to be a frontline guy, you want to be what's called a tank, you might want to do a sword and board. So you take a sword and shield, um, <clears throat> uh, take a large amount of damage, wear heavy armor, protect yourself, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta use protection out there. Dangerous world out there. You can never trust nobody. You gotta use that protection. But you can hit like a freight train, be that that cold train and coming through and just knock your enemies out of the way. Knock down that gate in wars, which we'll talk, talk about in another video. Or you can go for a mostly just damage build and have light armor and be a, a magician. I'm gonna say mage. <laughs> but Or you can be an archer or a musketman or a ranged DPS. Damage per second for those who aren't familiar with MMO terms. But, or you could be uh, support and just go healing. I, I believe there is healing magic in this. I'm 95% sure it'd be stupid if they didn't have it in this. And I think I had, did hear about a healing staff or something like that. But, um, yeah, go support, go healing, go damage. I know there's, we know there's fireballs in this game. Use that fireball on somebody's face. But there's also bows and guns. But here's the issue with bows and guns, from what I've found looking through the footage and photos. If you have a bow, at least, you need to have arrows in your quiver or in your inventory. So you have to be, just pay attention to that. You know what I mean? Because you can keep going pew, 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 and oh, I'm out. And guess what? Then you switch to your sword. But not a big deal. Because I believe you can have multiple weapons arranged. I think you have three weapons attached from what I've read initially. So that'll be really cool. Can't wait to get into that. Now, I have not been able to find a complete weapons list that you can use in New World. So, I made my own. And I've been painstakingly going through these photos, finding what weapons there are. So, let's look at them. So, we have two-handed axes, two-handed hammers, two-handed swords, one-handed swords, staffs, bows, 
muskets, rifles, which I don't know. 1600s, the rifling wasn't invented, so I'm assuming muskets. Pistols, axes, one-handed throwing, shields, spears. Now, I'm not sure if spears and halberds are going to be in the same category. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're two different things and you get some cool different skills based off each of them being separate. But we'll have to see. And then, of course, Azoth gauntlets. Look at that. Right there. Perfect timing. That thing in his hand is called an Azoth gauntlet. It's going to allow us to <clears throat> wield the power of Azoth, which I'm really excited to see what those powers are. They said there's... Hopefully there's... Like, now, this is a quick speculation. I hope they go with a Fields of Magic thing. So, if you can go down Fire, or Lightning, or Healing, or, you know what I mean? And then the more you use that skill, the further you go in that skill. I, it might be complicated to pull off, but we'll see. Now, what I'm super, super excited about are those axes. That right there. Those axes, because it's going to allow me to live my dream of living on the Scottish hills in... Hopefully, if you can dual wield them, which is another thing, I want to dual wield. Imagine dual wielding a sword. But I can be a, like a Viking or a Scotsman on the field, slaughtering my foes in the fields of battle. Eternal glory, the hopes to die an honorable death, and rise to the greatness halls of Valhalla. I know Valhalla wasn't a Scottish thing, it's a, it was a Saxon thing. Don't judge me on that. I'm working on it. To go chill with the Vikings, the Shield Maidens. Oh, those Shield Maidens love them. And Odin. That'd be cool. That'd be super cool. Um, but what do you guys think about that? What are you hoping to use? I can't wait to see what more information brings. Hopefully the beta comes soon. And speaking of beta, let's go to our friends over at newworldforge.com. <clears throat> oh, they have something about beta. So guess, let's look at that really quick. New World Beta be take place in July 2020. There you go, everybody. So July, not much longer. F official game release. 89 days from this recording, of course. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Hope I was a little bit helpful. If you did like this, please subscribe so you see more videos about New World. If you want to go hang out with me over on Twitch, I'm streaming Fable right now. Not right now, but yeah. Go over there, follow, be notified when I am live, and we can talk and have some fun. Um, until next time, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun stuff. Tell me what you guys think. What weapons are you going to try to use? Are you excited for New World? Are you not? Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, keep fighting. Bye. A most the most damage you can you can from a distance with your bow or your magic pick up pick off people or pick off groups with magic and lower them down to help your tanks or even be in a support role i'm sorry i had the hiccups and this is <gasps> terrible